Okay, um, live, live. I'm live, and um, yeah, this is just a pre-show. Um, I, you know, not much to say. This is going to be shorter. These are going to be shorter episodes tonight. But um, uh, yeah, I guess I'll just start things off. I guess. Oh, is somebody in pain right now? Uh oh, Cammy's in pain or not feeling well. Okay, Shango and Obatala. May the powers of Shango and Obatala take the feeling of unwell or not wellness away. Take it away. Take it away, Shango. Take it away, Obatala. Um, what else do we have here? Um, I'm just checking you people out here. Okay, well, let's. I mean, I think I'm just going to start the episode off here. Is that we'll just jump right into the episode? So let's just go ahead and start the officially start the episode. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to the chicken coop. My name is Brent Weinbach, and this is um, a kind of a, a video podcast type of, I don't know, live chat show type of thing. And we do, uh, we do, we look at things, we pick topics, we look at things, we break things down and I don't know, interact with the audience to some degree and so on and so forth. Usually I'm joined by Laura Weinbach, but um, sorry to say uh, when the edibles kick in that they, she is not here tonight, so uh, she won't be able to make it tonight, unfortunately. Um, and so, uh, sorry to disappoint, you know, but she'll be back. She'll be back next week. Although, actually, next week might, might be a tricky episode because um, I'm not sure we'll be able to start at 6 o'clock Pacific time um, next week. We might have to start a little later yeah, maybe eight or something like that. So a lot of you East Coasters might not be able to make it, but we'll see what happens. We'll see. I mean, we'll see how it plays out. But Laura will be back next week, whatever time we start. And um, so instead of, uh, oh, that's funny. Yeah, I didn't. I, no, I, I meant I was referring to the user named uh, when the edibles kick in is uh, was the um, who had said who had written. Uh, here for Laura, and I uh, had to, you know, announce the news that she's not here. Um, so, but in uh, Laura's place, we have um, Chicken Jessica, who will be filling in and sitting in, and kind of co-hosting on this um, main first step part of the episode or whatever. So, let me just welcome um, Chicken Jessica. Hi. Uh, hi. Yeah. Hey, Chicken Jessica, thanks for being with us yep. uh, and for kind of sitting in for Laura tonight. You know, mm. Producer Chicken Jessica. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you all know Chicken Jessica from last week and all the weeks before. And, mm. um, you know, here, here. it's just the beginning. Yeah. Um, so uh, what are we going to do? Um uh, this week we've got well it, look it is memorial day isn't it um this is memorial day uh i don't know do people say happy memorial day to people i don't think that seems no. pro that doesn't seem right right um you know you're supposed to it's not it's not it's not a happy day is it it's a day to remember um people who died in wars right i mean to is that isn't that right oh i don't i don't know is, is, that, it, is that what okay. it is i don't know well, it works better than day then that I don't. By the way, sorry, I'm having a tough technical difficulty. I'll get the camera going in a bit. Sure. Yeah. Um, I the here's the thing. Veterans Day maybe just recognizes all veterans. You know, it honors all veterans, right? I think it, alive or dead. But Memorial Day, I think, is people who were in the armed forces and who died maybe during. Well, that's actually my other question: is it people? Is it all of them who died or only ones who died in battle? That's what I'm wondering. It's only the cool ones. So I don't know. Oh, it's Jason's birthday. Jason, Weird Artifacts' birthday 
Okay, well, you know what? Give it up for Weird Artifacts, Jason Odd. Uh, oh, it was his birthday yesterday, so um, it, it's kind of a memorial. I guess it is. A, it's, a, it's a happy memorial day for Jason. But, yeah, what do you... Uh, you don't... When you're, you know, thinking about people who passed away in wars and stuff, I mean, that's not a happy day, is it? <clears throat> So I don't know. I don't know if you say Happy Memorial Day. What would you say instead of Happy Memorial Day? Um, good, not. I was going to say Good Memorial Day. Oh, Good sad, Memorial. Sad Memorial Day. Yeah, but it's not quite a sad thing. I mean, it is sad. So, I mean, by the way, is. I like that Chode said that Laura couldn't make it because she had diarrhea, as if that ever stopped any of us. <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> I like that we're getting Jason's birthday present. I know. I, I I think that's just the funniest running gag in this this whole show is when um, so, you know that we, the the show gets tipped for other people's benefit mm -hmm. basically. Um, so what would you say instead of Happy Memorial Day? I'm just trying to think. Instead of happy, not sad, but uh, not good, but maybe you just say because it's sort of a. Maybe you just say Memorial Day to people. You don't say happy. You just go, mm -hmm. oh, hey, Chicken Jessica, Memorial Day. Mm, Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Memorial Day to you. That's what mm -hmm. you say to me. Oh, well, mm -hmm. Memorial Day to you. <laughs> oh, you know what? Memorial Day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And thanks for the memories. You know. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Thanks. Yeah. So that's, I guess, something. I guess that's what we start saying to people is, is uh, Memorial Day. Memorial Day, Memorial Day to you. Oh, yeah, Memorial Day to. Oh, okay, well, oh, th oh, thank you. Memorial Day to you. Um. Okay, so that's cool. Um. Now, uh, what else? Uh, we've got. Uh, mm, I'm done with my technical difficulties. One second. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, take your time. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. Laura was eating up a storm. The, 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 oh, I'm not the, doing that. Oh, I'm no. not. I'm not saying you were eating. I'm I would just never. Saying, I'm saying Laura was. Eating, I'm saying. I'm just. That's all I'm saying. I didn't say I'm not saying anything about you. I'm not saying anything about no. you. Um, you oh wow! Never, there you are. I okay. never do such a thing. There you are. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, uh, well, look. The, it, this is this episode is going to be about Memorial Day. Um. And uh, I don't know. We're gonna. We'll, we'll find out more what what exactly is in store for us. I guess. Um. I guess let's start this segment. This is called. We got a lot of super chats coming in. Just I want to mention that I want to highlight them because that's what. Oh I said yeah, what what is what is they? Don't, what are they? Oh, well, I didn't even tell you. A super chat, by the way, is a is a way to tip the show. That's what these fine folks are doing. They're uh, they're tipping the show, helping it keep helping it keep going. Does that make sense? Um, and well, here's a little video uh, that you could watch if I um, you know, I'm so quick at finding that video. Uh, here it is. So what you got to do is hit that dollar sign in the chat window. You can pick super sticker, super chat. You take this handy UI slider all the way up. Look at that. You hit buy and send. No, don't let it go back down like that, though. You hit buy and send, and your message gets all highlighted nice like, just like this. And out of context, I like this. Just don't say happy. Yeah, I, I like this idea of maybe... In a code for Memorial Day or saying is just say, hey, I, yeah, I remember. Hey, I, I remember. remember. Oh, I remember. Oh, well, I don't, say, don't think I ever forgot. You just say, I'm going to remember that. Yeah, I'm going to remember that. That's what or you or you go, maybe when you see people, you go, I didn't forget. <laughs> don't worry. I didn't forget. Right. And or you say, and you know what is another thing, too, about Memorial Day is... um. It's about memory, I guess. I mean, it's sort of the same word, memory, right? So it's a day when people upgrade their RAM. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Sure. RAM day. Let's mm -hmm. RAM. Random access. Um, what else? Um, yeah, maybe they should call it Elephant Day. Oh, because they never forget. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do elements really never forget? By the way, I have a question. Do you mind if I ask you something about using those little floss things, you know? Oh, I'm not doing that. But you can. I do use those. Did you freeze? No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I just started. No. I was reading. Yeah, no, go uh, ahead. Go ahead. I was just, I'm just playing. Wait, say that again? No, I'm just playing. You, 
You okay? Hold on. Let me just understand something here. You oh, so you're using those things? You use those things? Yeah, I use those things. Now, uh, my concern, and look, this what, might not be a concern of yours. I don't know the meaning of this comment, but I've been here this whole time. Go on. Thank I you. Don't, um, <laughs> um, I uh, oh, thank you, I Cammy. Okay, you know what? Uh, well. I'll, I'll, uh, oh, I see. So let's see. Uh, okay. So that's the, okay. I mean, okay. You know what? Maybe I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it, Cammy. I'll do it. I'll do the thing that you're implying. Basically I was considering, well, uh, whatever. What's anyway, she I'll, talking about? I'll, I'll talk about it in the after show debrief. Okay? What's she talking about though? I'll talk about, I'll, t- <clears throat> I'll fill right. you in on the after show debrief. All right. I won't, don't worry. I won't, I'll only talk about my own stuff. I'm not, I won't anyway, whatever. We'll, we'll get into it. I like um, going. this, the, the this flosser thing that you use right yeah it gets Uh-oh. it don't aren't you afraid that when you pull out it's gonna it's gonna make the whatever gunk is in your teeth kind of spray onto well, first of all i'm used to pulling out uh-huh. and uh no I mean, sometimes it gets caught you know when you when you do pull out you don't want it to get stuck in there right when you pull mm-hmm. out you just want to yank it no i don't yank it violently i no it's not a problem no, I mean when you if you take the thing out, I feel like it's going to spray food particles or whatever. Oh no, no, your, no! You kind of keep your uh, lips out on closed. your stuff. You kind of keep your lips closed a little bit, you know, for the splash zone. There's no, there's no splash zone. I mean, unless you're just like, I like, got, ah, it's like you know, like that, yeah. You feel my mouth? It's just like, like that. Uh-huh. You don't want to do it like that. I don't do it like that. Huh? I have manners. You have so, manners. Manners. Well. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I just all I say is, is, you know, be careful. Be careful, man. You don't want to get any food gunk on your. I appreciate on that your, on your keyboard or whatever. You might need yeah. to get a sperm guard or something for your. Pick, Sometimes you I know. do it just because it feels good. You know. You just massage your gums like that. A little bit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tooth be told. I mean, well, I might have a little something. You said, stuck. you said tooth be told just now. Did tooth you know be that? told, yeah. No, okay, you did say that. Um, <laughs> I mean. Just so you know, when I'm I've been in the car with somebody before when they were using one of those things, and oh, I got no. concerned. Oh, did you get in the splash zone? Well, I was concerned. I was. I just said, "Oh, can you not um, actually floss right now?" Because um, I'm afraid of getting. By well, the way, what about I wouldn't flossing get in at... someone's car and start flossing? Right. Okay. Would you? What about flossing at the dinner table? Would you, how do you feel about that in front of people? I mean, if it's my dinner table, maybe. But if I'm at anyone else's house, of course not. I do. I don't know. I ride home. Do you don't you don't think that flosses? You're flossing at a dinner table. You're bound to just get. It's almost like I'm not. I'm not like flicking it out. I'm not like. It's just. It's like more of like an up and down thing. I think it's it's hard. In and out. I think it's a little hard to control. You know these particles. You know. No, that now I I, now I'm conscious of that. I've never done that at a dinner table. Well, did I make you conscious? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Wow. I so I I instilled in you a sense of consciousness. Yeah. 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 I actually <laughs> or do something it like that. driving is my favorite. Uh taking a dump, that's my second favorite. Uh wow. and, or just, you know, being in Do you bed. feel enlightened right now by me? A little bit, yeah. Wow, amazing. Yeah. Well what a what a memorial day it's turning out to be, huh? Um yeah. oh, okay, cool. You probably know what I'm talking about. Oh, I highlighted so, look, the wrong comment. I was this and I was showing my teeth. Yeah, of course we do. Yeah, yeah. This, this chicken yeah, of does. Of course we do. This this chicken, chicken over here got all does. that kind of stuff. Yeah. Well, look. I don't want to. I mean, okay. Well, let's let's get into let's get this. Into so it. Memorial Day. I mean, look. What, what's there to say about Memorial Day? You wear. What's the deal with the white shoes before Memorial Day thing? Do you know about? I thought that? that was Labor Day. Isn't that Labor Day? It's. You, Is it Memorial? Okay. No, maybe it's you're both right. Labor Day and Memorial Day. It's you. You're not. It's a faux pas to wear white shoes before Memorial Day and a faux pas to wear. Uh, white shoes after Labor Day, I think. I thought and it was what's up white. with that? What? Just white in general. I thought it was just white. White shoes in particular, I think. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. And my question is, is what's wrong with that? I wear white shoes year round. Is that okay? You know what? I'm a rebel like that. I'm progressive. Hmm. I'm being progressive about white shoes. I just do <clears throat> white shoes year round. Is that okay? I That's fine with me. Okay. It would be weird if I saw you not in white shoes before well, after I'm Memorial g- Day. Well, sometimes I do wear not white shoes, depending on certain occasions. You know. Like a funeral? So White shoes. Um, no, I, not a funeral. I won't. I wouldn't do it. But, um, but it was okay. the funeral of the person who invented the Reebok Club, whatever. 
<laughs> the Reebok. Anywhere in Club Reebok. It. Would you wear what if the there shoes? was a remember how you know how there's the members only jackets we did that and then it's yeah. I was thinking what about you know because the club C Reebok shoe that's a club as well you know it seems as though that's you need tall. to be a you need to be in a club to wear the mm-hmm. Reebok yeah. anyway Anyways, sorry the name of this segment is going to be we're going to look at armies we're going to talk about the military stuff and um you know our armed forces kind of stuff and this uh, this we're going to call this uh topic uh beak all that you can beak all that you can be okay all that you can beak beak all that you can beak um okay memorial day uh people were uh you, you ever have fantasies about being in the military definitely not uh well i did okay really um i just you know i had i had these romanticized ideas about lots of things when i was a teenager i thought what if i was a taxi driver in new york you know and just picked up a bunch of different people from different walks of life that interested you know i thought that that seemed appealing to me to just sort of get a a breath of everything that the city has to offer and and picking people up hearing their story and stuff you know um i had fantasies about being a truck driver you know just me in the road you know just driving on the road the empty road and going right, just you know, kind of just getting to know rest, myself rest stops rest stops you know s- mm-hmm. sizzlers and um, i barrels. also all that i had i i had th- fantasies about being a police officer i thought oh that'd be you know just from watching movies and i mean this is all kind of because of movies basically you know, I, I had these thoughts about, oh, what about making a bust, you know, just kicking a door down and saying freeze, you know, and <laughs> stuff like that. I don't know. That sounded kind of um, intriguing to me. Mm-hmm. And then um, then I thought and I one of these fantasies was joining the military and being in the army or whatever. You know, although I think that if I was going to be in the military, maybe I'd want to do Air Force because, um, well, you could fly in, in these yeah, jets and I'd, stuff. That yeah. sounds kind of cool, you know. Um but I would, do, uh, I would do Air Force as well, or Navy. You know, Air Force, by the way, I think makes the most money. I think. Yeah, I, I don't know. I, think but, you're right. I mean, but I actually I had this whole fan, the like, romanticized idea about going to boot camp and just becoming a real man. You know, just getting whipped mm. into shape. You know, yeah. getting yelled at and stuff by a drill Love instructor that. and just mm. you getting know humiliated. really just getting humiliated mm. and just um, you know. Oh. But, yeah. you know, having to drop down and and give people twenty or whatever, or give people ten. You know, give them where uh, they want. I was thinking about all that. I just thought, and then I had this thought, this romanticized idea, like I said, about, you know, wanting to, you know, this romanticized idea about just being in the trenches, you know, and just, you know, I don't know, fraternizing with the other soldiers and stuff. And I don't know. I Look, the, it just was a, it's a movie fantasy is just from watching movies and stuff. Not that movies generally glorify war, but, um, it just uh I, I no, I hate war. I don't I don't want war. I don't want to be a part of that. But I just had that thought in my head. What if I went to boot camp? What if I did that? And I, I don't know. I just thought about it. Have you ever ran through a tire field, by the way? That's no, a weird question. You? But like I, yeah, I have. Like it was like something at my school or like it was like set up for a period R- of R- time. R O T C? I think it was an R R R O T C thing, but mm-hmm. we got to like do it and it was like quite hard. Like a lot harder than you think it's gonna be. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh, because you got to coordinate each step. Yeah. And yeah. It's, right. It's right. Coordination. You got to be a, good a lot dance. of tripping. You got to be a dance. Good dancer. Yeah. Fools be tripping. I imagine. I imagine that the tire, yeah. uh, tra- the tire, uh, whatever yeah. it is, the tire field might be a tough thing to get through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, want to want to look at something? Yeah. Why don't we look at some army joining commercials or whatever? Any military joining commercials? I imagine well, okay. Doing. I have an army joining com- or army commercial, but I also have a Memorial Day sale commercial. So oh, I thought maybe we favorite, could do one of each or something. Is it our favorite? Uh, well, favorite I do have lady? that, but I'm going to save that. But oh, really? There is, okay. an, there is another one that's pretty fun to look at. Okay. From, but we'll, let's do that. Let's do, you've been talking Army. Let's do Army. How's that? By the way, fireworks, Army, by yeah. the way, I think fireworks are meant to represent war. You know? I don't know. I mean, well, 4th of July, but then maybe if people do fireworks on Memorial Day, is that fireworks, I think, are meant to represent you know, explosions from war, cannons being fired and stuff like that, I think, you know? Mm-hmm. 
Anyway, um, <clears throat> all right, let's there... do some classic army style thing. This. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. Actually, I mean. Okay, what about Anna? What happened with Anna? What's what's going? On? Okay, whatever. I thought it said something else. Wait, what? But... What about Anna? Oh, uh, that's uh, they're thinking about the, our our favorite furniture sales. Oh, movie. her name is Anna. Oh, oh, Anna, Anna, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah it yeah. says because it always says call Anna on her. Phone. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. For some reason. This is the army where just two years can really pay off. Ooh, hold on, I'm sorry. I'm get, I'm distracted by this music. It's got that. It's great. It's got that style. good. I think yeah, it's a seventy-eight. Yeah, it's got that good sound right now. Yeah. This is the army where just two years can really pay off. You get two years more confidence and two years more skill. You get to travel and grow. And with Uncle Sam's <laughs> Wait, help... Pause it, get... pause it. You get, really, it's, you get to go do that, experience other cultures like that, I guess. You know, that's, that's interesting. That's, that's what I was thinking. There's more skill. You get to travel and grow. And with Uncle Sam's help, you can get up to $7,400 for college. Sorry, wait, just, wait, say that I one like, more time. I'm sorry. Yeah, I like this the way that, I don't know. I just like this little grab here. $7,400. $7,400. Uncle Sam's help, you can get up to $7,400 for college. Well, I guess in 78, that was pretty good, I guess, you know? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, because I, I mean, yeah. I mean, not only inflation, but college also just was cheaper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. $100 for college. All in just two years. Look You're at all those go, go back to look at all those guys doing push ups. They're all getting they're all giving right. them giving somebody twenty, you know, right now. Yeah. They're all they're all dropping they're all, down and giving somebody. They're all getting humiliated. Like, humiliated. Look, at, look, at, look at how this guy's giving this guy a face paint job though, you know? He's doing he's, what is this? Like a park uh, is it somebody's birthday party or something like that? It looks like the guy's you know what I mean? He's drawing a, a rainbow or something on his cheek, you know, or he's you know, I mean he's drawing a butterfly on his cheek or something like that. Look right. at that guy though, you know. Yeah, I love this uh the position of this guy i don't know it's just something about it right we go back to that guy getting his face painted. I like this dead poet society looking teacher too <laughs> right 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 like, that's funny he's challenging them intellectually right. stuff. <laughs> wait wait i think you have to go back even further though uh, back the, back the face, oh. yeah the face paint guy oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. sorry and with uncle sam's help wait, hold on go back go back go back hold on when they they're, they must have been asking directions i get okay so they're what they get some time off or something and, and they're sam in germany or something like that right yeah and right. then the guys just like, oh yeah, you just go down there. If you, you're looking for the whole house, you go down there. You make a left, and there's lots of prostitutes. They're very nice, very nice indeed. Just mention my name, you'll get a good deal. Right. You mention my name. My name is Klaus. <laughs> go down there. You. That's what it looks like. They're just hanging out. They're like, yeah. Do you know where we could find some prostitutes around here? Right. Oh yes, yes. You know we. we We've got beautiful ladies here. Just go down the street there. Yeah? Just go down to, you know, uh, Rikardstrasse, and right. uh, you, you'll just make a left in the, the, the red light district there and uh, mention my name, Klaus, <laughs> and uh, give you at least uh, five Deutschmarks of whatever it's called. What do they call them? Deutschmarks? I don't know. This is the manager, just, yeah, man, manager makes a good point here. All the guys get cool training shots, and the only female so far. And putting on lipstick. Well, the fem I did see a female in the classroom, you know, part of the uh, Dead Poet Society thing. But that Which, is yeah. funny that she's putting lipstick on. That's actually, like the most, that yeah. is pretty funny. You get that's two pretty, years that's more pretty bad. <clears throat> and two years more skill. You get to travel and grow. And without yeah, you go down there. <laughs> and then look at this. Watch this. This is this is uh, is that um, Kendall right there? That's Kendall decides to join the military. You know, or this is when he was in the Uncle military. Sam's Kendall. Help, you can get up to seventy. He goes. Yeah, look, we're just gonna paint a little duck on your face here. It's gonna look really cute for the birthday party, you know. Right. <laughs> Get up to seventy. Looks like they're having fun. Four hundred. I love that guy. Just What's... rams in there. Well, Get he just grabs him from behind. I mean, look at oh, whoa. he's he's, is... <laughs> he's on a mission. That's all I'm saying. You can get up to wow, he not, rammed not his. A, he kind of rammed his butt. I mean, look at yeah, that. He no, just like, whoa. He just went right up there. Right? Boom, man. He just he even was like looking for that whiplash. He just thought, let me get a, let me get a piece of that ass right now. He get goes, up to seventy four hundred. Hey, give me that ass right there. Oh, he this just, guy did not ask. He just he just showed up and did it. Boom. He just goes, let me get that ass. Yeah. He said it after he did it. Yeah. All in just two. Look at but pause. There's a woman right there in that class too. Oh, you're right. She's learning. She's. See, look, they kind of placed her with all the intellectual. You know, they're kind of showing that the army can be an intellectual, a place for right. intellectual stimulation. You know, you've got right. these dead poet society as teachers and stuff, right. and they're oh, challenging you. Wait, what? 
symbol? Like, what do you think? It says wait. What? Well, Walt, Walt Whitman. Whitman. Walt, Walt, Walt Whitman. Walt, they're learning about Walt Whitman. Wow. See, Walt Whitman. I mean, symbolism. I bet you it says oh. symbolism. Watch. I bet. I bet you that says oh, symbolism. Oh, definitely. Right? You're definitely. Walt you're Whitman. Absolutely symbolism. Right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. <laughs> now wait. Hold on. What does it say up on the top left? Hold on. What does it say? I think, was, I think uh, it says rectal. Rectal. Or it says it says fatal. Right. <laughs> If you join but, the army, it is fatal. But also, it, it can be fatal. But also, Walt Mittman symbolism it has a lot of symbolism. Yeah, maybe oh, it's the guy's name. You know, Mister oh, yeah. Mister Fatal or Mister. Oh no, no, you're name. right. You look, look, look. There's a B. Sim. Yeah. Oh. See, I told you. Sim. Oh, oh Sim. You nailed Unless it. it's me, it's symbiosis or something oh, like that. That's, could be. Could be. Could be. Yeah. For college, all in just two years. Your arm. <laughs> yeah, fatal was that... underlined. <laughs> Like that guy's, I like that that guy's uh, having a laugh right there. This guy coming up, that guy's. Yeah. What is he eating? Yogurt or something like that? He's like, yeah, his yo play is really good, man. What? <laughs> well, like one of those MREs, you know, or something. What is he eating? All in just I think he's eating diced peaches. Your army recruiter can tell you. <laughs> yeah, that's, yeah. You how to qualify? This is the army. Oh, I saw a Spain flag in there. Right there. Oh, you, you right in the middle. Oh, that's your, your namesake. Your huh? army recruiter right. can tell you how to qualify. This is the army. A chance to serve your country. That's mom. Grandma, grandma's can Grandma. Too. Is it grandma yeah. or mom? You know, I'm not sure. I feel that's, that's, gotta grandma. that's gotta be grandma. That's gotta be grandma. That's grandma. Right yeah, that's gotta be yeah. grandma. It's grandmama right there. This is the army. A chance to serve your country. Meaning it's Larry Johnson. Yourself. Call this number toll free. Toll free. Um <clears throat> you know, I will say this that the mil I mean you know, I visited the Marines. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that in a second, but let's just make sure we wrap up on this commercial here. I like oh, that this is intellectual. Well, I like that they kind of show you learn stuff too. You know, that, I right. mean, it's it's not just a physical. It's not just physically challenging. It's also mentally challenging too. You learn things. You know, well, it's physically challenging too with the uh, getting your butt. You know. Right, right. Well, it's rammed. it's rectally rectally challenging. Yeah. Maybe that's what it's about. Is that guy got rectal, and then they were taking. They're saying, then they were kind of talking about that in class the next day. Right now, I know it looks that like Brian this one this one guy in the middle. He looks like he's the only. He wants to look at all the butts or something. It's like his only his head is up. It is an interesting shot, and that guy really sticks out. You know, what right. I mean, he's that one guy is really yeah. visible amongst this sea of just pants. <laughs> you know, it's just yeah. a sea of legs, pants. And yeah. yet this guy is sort of in there. It also just looks like that guy's swimming in people. You know what I mean? He's, <laughs> he's swimming in army yeah. legs, you know, or something like that. Yeah, he's sniffing. He's sniffing. He's sniffing and swimming. He's, uh, anyway, so I didn't mean to interrupt. No, 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 no. Uh, no, I mean, there's there's other guys that you can see, obviously. But... Look at that. I'm violent. I know. the viol That's such a weird... Because what, there's, game, there's, what game are you going to grab? Yeah, what game like are they playing? What game is that? You know, I mean, Look how hyped up the guys on the left shorts are. Like on one side. <laughs> yeah, he's got Daisy Dukes on. Get up to 74. That's, that not, was, like, that's not dodgeball or kickball or anything. This is kind of funny that... Um, by the way, I, I have done sort of USO before. I'll, I'll talk about it in a second. But um, Anyways. So, Solid. no, it's just weird how... I don't know what game. I thought it was soccer at first, but I don't think it is. I think it's some, grab ass. <laughs> it's almost like he's grabbing his breasts first. He's gra he's kind of doing everything. He's grabbing his breasts and he's kind of thrusting his crotch into this man's, you know, buttocks. <laughs> Actually, it's almost like only one of them is a soccer player. It's like it, it's almost as if the middle guy is just a random soccer player, and these other the other guys a football player, and then he just said. <laughs> I don't know something. You know, they just start. <clears throat> Go on then. Carry on. Oh. Else? Well, that, I mean, I thought we were the guy getting up. his face painted kind of makes me just think of something. It just makes it look like he's just at the park. He's at a birthday party, you know, or something like right. that. You know, <laughs> it's a military themed birthday party, and that's the clown that's doing. I like how the the painter is like laughing, and then he goes serious. Well, Sam's help you. <laughs> like what is that about i did not notice that that is really I funny i just, I just noticed that that is so funny what the hell oh i think that he's like i think he's having fun and then the drill sergeant turns around and he's help you can get up to seven oh you know, my god he's, it he's is it's a, serious whoa yeah. it, oh my god you nailed it man you got it you got right. that whoa what a great detail 
That was totally that intentional. Is, I mean, yeah, that is, That's amazing. So he's telling. wow. The drill sergeant he he knew he didn't right. even have to look at him directly. He knew instinctively right. when when the drill sergeant was turning around, <laughs> and he knew to drop the smile. That is hilarious. That is so funny. That and is it's funny because the drill sergeant, the drill drill sergeant, looks like he's extra like mad and mean, you know. Well, the, the drill, like, comically, he's like comically yeah. mean looking. Well, he also didn't read to me as a drill sergeant. I mean, his hat does, but his face Whatever, looks like, as I'm young as the like, other guys, though. You know, I'm what I mean, I, like the Full Metal Jack. No, guy, Full Metal Jack is an older guy. You know, I, I just. Right. You can get a but that is really funny that he and, and the guy actually it's good acting on that guy. And I mean, yeah, that, right. That takes a lot of ch comedic I'm training broke. to be able to drop your face that quickly into a different mode. I'm here. Look, I'll give it a shot. You ready? I am. Don't blow you up. Watch this. Just to do it. You tell me. You say, "Drill sergeant," and I'll drop my face. Okay, ready? Right. Okay, I'm painting that's you. A, that's um, a good face. Yeah, drill sergeant. Nice. How was that? That was good. That was Try plastic. me again. Try me again. All right. So yeah, then you know, then I told her that you know I don't have any room for a drill sergeant. Ooh, that was right on it. That was right I on I actually um pre anticipated it, yeah. anticipated <clears throat> it because I knew it was coming and I jumped right. it a little early, but I knew that because of a delay or anything like that, sure, it might have sure. timed out. But good. it takes control, it takes muscle control to be able right. to sort of uh completely relax your face after right. you know. Let me try one more. Let me try one more. Um, so then I was saying, uh, I was at the bar and Joe Sergeant. <laughs> yeah. One more time, one more time, one more time. Go All right. Ahead. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. And I went to Costco and they, I bought, it was a 20 ounce thing of this and Joe, Joe Sergeant. <laughs> I was trying to preempt it. I don't know. Sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah, whatever. Right. You got it though. One more time. One more time. Go ahead. Here we go. <clears throat> all right. So I was in the pick and save and I was picking up, uh, Valtrex and oh, Joe Sergeant. Oh, there it is. Yeah, he won't. I don't know. It's another anything. variation on like it. You that. know, I, I like that. another variation. <laughs> right there, you go. But all right, we, man, that is. For, I just got. I have much admiration for this young man on the right here. I, he's yeah. really. Uh, that's very good train. That's very good acting. I mean, right. he really just goes right into the serious face immediately. Yeah, that's also, a full why, muscle. Face. Why do you suppose he's la smiling yeah. so much too? Anyway, by the way, maybe he's like drawing a big dick on his face I don't right know. right right or maybe he's just <laughs> but then thinking... he's serious and i was like oh that's a serious dick <laughs> drill also, like that. also look Dick's at the not guy big enough. the guy who's getting painted by the way that guy looks really kind of just wasted you know what i mean <laughs> i mean by wasted i mean he just looks like he's just <laughs> he's in the k-hole i don't know he doesn't look like he's healthy you know what i mean or he just looks messed up you know what i mean i mean he's all way, way yeah, they, skinny they just found him like he went awol for like a something week like and... that yeah this guy looks messed up you know he just and looks that, so oh, battered yeah, yeah. or something you know right. but they're actually like abusing him because he doesn't know what's going on so oh maybe drawing, the, maybe the drill the sergeant phone. is the only one who's st kind of sticking up for that guy yeah maybe the maybe that yeah. that guy is a bully the guy on the right and then the drill sergeant's saying you know don't be make bullying this guy this guy's one of us you know or something like <laughs> right. that you know so maybe the drill sergeant's a good guy and the right. bad guy so maybe are, the, the guy on the right is a terrible guy here maybe he's a bad guy yeah, he's all he's bully. thinking he's just a bully look at this twerp that i'm i'm painting the <laughs> face of this tw this twiggy twerp you know he's never never right. be as muscular what a joke this guy is this guy's in the army what a joke and the guy turns around and thinks don't you dare talk about my friend like that He'll outrank you. Give him one year. He'll outrank you by many ranks. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't the guy in the right kind of maybe look like the guy from White House or White Lotus, the guy who's in the office, you know? The guy mm. you like, the real jerk kind of husband guy? Yeah, I, I don't remember. Yeah, whatever that guy. I, yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe right. so. Yeah. I don't know. Anyways, yeah. That's all I got. Yeah, that's all I no, got. yeah. But um, anyways, maybe he's... Um, drawing on a fake beard on this guy you know what i mean <laughs> they're gonna do some sort of uh theater production and those <laughs> this is what it is the drill sergeant's doing warm-up for the crowd and the crowd is they're gonna watch this theater production or something like that maybe right. the guy's gonna do a, a monologue from hamlet or something like that you know what i mean <laughs> maybe he learned it from the class you know he learned it from that class or whatever he learned it from the the, the dead poet society class and he's gonna do this yeah. monologue from hamlet and the guy's doing his makeup for it and then right. this, they're, they're all there to watch it. You know what I mean? And right. then the drill sergeant is kind of doing warm up for them. You know, okay, we got a great show lined up for you guys. <laughs> we got a monologue from Hamlet. You know, we got right. um, we got a storyteller session from the boys uh, that were stationed over in um, stationed over in Munich, and uh, they're going to talk about the prostitutes they hung out with. So just 
what are you laughing at? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, but the guy, the the guy on the left has just no reaction to anything that's going on. Well, I am actually He's the more I look dead. at it, I kind of see a slight smile on his face in the beginning, I, I and then he drops the smile too. Look, he looks, he maybe smiling a little bit, but he's trying to keep his mouth closed because he doesn't want to get right. the face. The oh pain yeah, right there, it. it starts with a smirk. He's kind of yeah, I think he's smiling, but trying to keep his mouth closed so that, and his yeah. lips closed so that he doesn't get the. The, whatever that stuff is on his lips, I guess right. you know. He kind of looks like Snoop Dogg a little. The guy on the left. <laughs> he? He's all thinking of himself. He's got a Snoop face. Damn, I need to get. I'm, I can't wait to get my, <laughs> do my monologue from for Hamlet. You know, when I do my monologue from Hamlet, I'm gonna be the talk of the town. Everybody's <laughs> making fun of me right now, including this guy pain in my face but once i do my monologue from hamlet i'm gonna be a big star snoop doggy dog and dr dre is at the door that's my snoop doggy dog, dog impression like yeah. i think it sounds like snoop doggy dog is christian name do you yeah. yeah do you do you think i sound like snoop doggy dog do i sound like snoop doggy dog right now this is snoop <laughs> but you got to get yourself a jumpy job <laughs> I'm smiling right now, but once he turns around, mm -mm. watch this. Here, hit me up again. Oh, yeah. It's all you. Snoop, and then say drill sergeant. Snoop D O double G in the mother fucking heels. Drill this sergeant. Is... I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Anyway, like carry that. on. I was just trying yeah, something. Right. I was trying something. I was just trying yeah. something. All right. Um. So, uh, all so right. We should, carry we, should on. Go into, we should go into the next. Oh, right. we need to move. We need we need we to need we move. need this we end this move. episode. Okay, I'll, yeah. so I'll just say this real quick: is that I did oh. do, um, I did uh, do what's it called? Um, kind of USO, but it was called MCCS, Marine Corps Community Services, and um, I did some comedy in at some um, bases in Okinawa. Wow! And this was in during World War II, so it was pretty intense back then, yeah. you know. No, um, I it was uh, I did this in the two thousands. Actually, it was the the this was. It was a great experience. Um, you know, I did seven bases, um, and they were all. One of them was on the mainland near Mount Fuji. It was called um, Camp Fuji, and um, the, the other six were on the Okinawa island. And uh, and then uh, you know that was that trip was kind of the beginning of me collecting mm. import games. That was in two thousand nine. So. It was kind of the beginning. It was um, magical yeah. popping. I got magical popping there on that trip uh, for fifteen dollars, and that's a expensive game. But uh, that was a, a cool experience going out there and entertaining the troops. And the reason, and you know, it reminded me a lot of college. <laughs> thank, <laughs> thank you for saying that, Chodes. Thank you, thank you for saying that. But it reminded me of. It really kind of was very similar to college. I mean the the the, a lot, most of the people at the shows were college age. And I mean, it was skewed. There were more men than women there, but there was, um, well, there were women there too. And it was, um, but it was really similar. It was really similar to, it reminded me of doing colleges. It felt like doing a bunch of college shows. Um, I did do one show though, and it seemed like there were some older, they seemed like maybe more graduate, graduate, uh, student level, uh, people that they, I guess they were higher ranking people there, I guess that, um, but yeah, they were kind of rowdy and they were, I don't know, but it was, it was, it was a cool experience and I'll say this and why, and then we'll close is that, um, they bring entertainers out to these places to remind them of what it's like, uh, to, to kind of remind them of what it's like at home kind of, you know, um, and it, to keep them, I think from going crazy basically, you know? Um, or, you know, I mean, not I mean, people have obviously suffer from from, uh, you know, PS, you know, PTSD and stuff. But they they uh, I think it's to help remind them of what it's like to be what it's like at home or whatever. And um, well, that's what USO's slogan is. A taste of home. I think it is USO mm -hmm. a taste of home. And I think that's a cool thing, you know, to kind of go there and, you know, help, you know, just <clears throat> connect them to the you know to the to the the world that they're apart from at the time you know but um anyway uh so uh but it was cool you know and i actually went to a 
I don't know, there was some sort of service or something that was happening on one of the bases when I was there. It was, I don't know what if it was, it was a maybe a funeral or some, I don't know, some kind of uh, ceremony or something like that. And I went to, I just happened to be around, I don't know, I happened to just go to it. And then the the people there were the, the different Marines were, they saw me later that night at the show and they said, Oh, that was really cool that you came to the thing and stuff. And I don't know. And, and a lot of them would come up after shows and just really be so appreciative that we came out and stuff. And it was cool. It was a good experience. Plus it was a cool, it was great. It was a free trip to, you know, Japan too. You know? That's awesome. Anyway. Um, well, look, we're going to look at another commercial probably. And I'll talk about that thing that Cammy was talking about earlier. Well, we're going to um, look at a commercial talk about cammy but we're also gonna say an old friend's gonna say hello and everyone already knows who it is oh great that's yeah. something to look forward to yeah. anna is gonna be there or anna, <laughs> anna or whatever her name is anna gastar and so that's gonna happen and that's gonna be in the after show debrief how do you get there you there's a join button at the bottom of the video and uh you just hit that and you can you, you can join two different tiers and uh there's a you know whatever it explains to you what you get with those tiers um and so you can just figure that out for yourself and if you and that gives you access you know as long as you're a member to all the previous after show debriefs and you can see everything including the behind the scenes stuff which is for tier two members on the uh the playlist the chicken coop playlist which you can find on this channel the chicken coop playlist and um the only thing you can't find is the the ringtones, which are on the community tab. So you want to you can just look through that and you can find the, the monthly ringtones. That's for tier two. Um, other than that, um, check out the highlight clips at Chicken Coop Show, which is that that's a separate YouTube channel, and that's also the name of the Instagram account and the TikTok account. And thank you to Weird Artifacts. Happy birthday once again, Jason Odd for um making those clips and uh he his band is weird artifacts so check out weird artifacts on Bandcamp or wherever you check out music and um also thank you to gemma and cammy for helping with the 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 po posting of these clips um okay and uh what else anything else thank you to chicken jessica for yeah. being here and for your help um being the producer Pleasure. of the chicken coop Pleasure. and uh i think that's about <clears throat> it right am i missing anything so uh, the the link to go to the after show debrief is in the description of this video or posted in the i think chicken jessica posted yeah. in the comment section there it is and so um we'll see you there in just a bit we do this every week at 6 p.m pacific time but next week we might have to start later just a heads up okay um so due to some scheduling situations we might have to start at eight o'clock maybe we'll see what happens just just so you know okay just so you know okay that's it thank you for watching uh we'll see you in just a bit at the after show debrief my name is brent weinbach bye-bye